What the hell? Okay, hey everyone, Johnny here. Today, I'm going to go fishing. So it's going to be maybe a slow episode, I don't know. So what I want to get done first is get the fishing rod done. I'm level 30, I still have lapis, so I'm going to try and enchant the um, fishing rod and see what we get. So, fishing rod, yep. Now, up to the enchanting table. Fishing rod in, lapis in. Luck of the sea, sounds like a good one. Right, so we got our fishing rod, and I also want to build kind of like a jetty, because I don't, ooh, I want a door. I don't want to just do um, fishing in the daytime. I'm sort of looking for a nighttime fishing scenario too. Let's go, I don't want to go here. This is a bit, it's not really sea-like, it's more of river fishing that way. Skeleton behind me, probably in the water. Off here, not so good, it's sort of a pond. But over here, I think is where I want to go. And look, there's fish jumping already, so that's a good sign. So I reckon over here. Yeah, this point looks good. So what I want to do is let's build something a bit like Like a pier, I guess. Take care of that one later. And if you can hear um, any sounds like rain... Ah, oh, I did it again. Let me just clear those out, because that's going to annoy the hell out of me. So if you hear any sounds like rain, um, that is because in the place I'm recording, it is raining quite a bit. So anything distracting, like a pitter-patter, that is rain. What I should have done here was get torches. Okay, I think that's far enough. So I want to build like a enclosure. Oh, I really run out of okay, fair enough. I need some more oak planks. Fence it off as well. This isn't supposed to look pretty at all. Just supposed to be here. So I can do night fishing without being disturbed anything that might want to just come up and beat me. So that's great, put a door on. And then we'll just fill in a bit around this side. Go back, get some torches and some more oak planks. And then be set up for fishing. And then basically, very boring, me sat around fishing and catching things. So there'll be a lot of cutting and, hey, a fish, or, hey, a boot. I don't know. So, planks and torches. Okay, back to the fishing area. Can't believe I've dedicated an area to fishing, but it may only get used once as well. And who is that guy over there? I should go say hi, even though I'm guessing he wants to kill me. Um, I don't know who those guys were. Not nice. But... I survived. So, not worried. I don't know what they were doing over here. Maybe they didn't like the fishing jetty. That's their problem. They're dead now. Right. Um, so, bum bum bum. Bum bum. Up here. Let's put a reef on too. Why not? Oh, 
Okay, so I can fish here and not be disturbed by monsters. Okay, let's watch that, and let's watch that. And torch that, and torch that. Uh, that, that, no. It's fine. Can you put them on top? Here. Yes, that looks cool. I don't want anything spawning directly behind me. But I also want it lit up, because I'm going to be a night fisherman, as well as a day fisherman. And I think this looks pretty nice. Let's put one there too. And there we go. Be really hot walking through here, but hey. Just make it like that. Okay, so um, fishing. This could be interesting or it could be very, very dull. Oh, something's coming. Those dots going across the screen. And I got a fish. And I've got lure too as well. And look at the sea too. That's great. Okay, so. Um, law to obviously getting things over to you and luck of the sea being good luck so I guess now it's just a case of me fishing for quite some time um, I will let you know everything I catch and I'll be fishing for quite some time maybe an hour or two fish uh, another cod I don't know what that was I think that was a saddle yep got a saddle that time raw salmon brilliant cod Card. Okay, so what I did notice while I was um, catching this fish is one, there's like a, a small trail going towards it when there is something going to get your hook. But also you get experience whenever you catch anything. So it's a slow way to get experience, but it's also quite a good way. Salmon, um, a shell, lily pad, shell, card. Ooh, name tag, card. I wonder if, like, I'm just clicking the right button. I wonder if you just hold on to it. It just throws it really far. No is the answer. Okay, that time when I threw it out, it did seem to go a lot further. Um, I think being stuck inside the little hut thing was making it so it didn't go as far. So if you look up and throw, it seems to go a bit further. I'm not sure if that actually helps anything, though. Card. Boots. I actually got boots. I said I was going to get boots. I got boots. That's awesome. They're, they're rubbish, but I got boots. Zombie flesh. Or rotten flesh, sorry. Don't know what that was. Puffer fish. Oh, I got a book. Okay, so I got Smite 4, which is pretty cool. So um, to use that, I would need an anvil. Um, and I think it works the same way as enchanting, whereas you use an anvil and put the book and the item, mix them together, and it does take the experience from you. So I believe. And I think I've just been fishing all night long with no problems. No one came in behind me. So I think the door worked out just fine. And the torches. Bone. One thing to say here is in the daytime, it's clearly easier to see card, to see when anything is actually going for your lure. So, makes it easier, but nighttime fishing is also fun too. Fun in the way of throwing it out, bringing it back, throwing it out, bringing it back. But it does bring a sense of calm over you. And salmon. Guys, I'm actually gonna try this without the shaders, just to see what it looks like. Um, to me, with the shaders on, it looks a bit weird. The line doesn't go out with the fishing rod. I'm just wondering if we turn them off, how it's actually gonna look. can definitely see the line on this one. You can see a lot more underwater too. Salmon, it actually, I don't think it changes how it looks for something coming in to get your lure or to get the hook. Um, it looks pretty much the same. You know, I'm having visions of this video just being me shouting out card or salmon, just because that's what it feels like it may end up being. So apologies if that does suck. Puffer fish. So what I'm hoping here is that I get enough experience from doing this fishing off of one fishing rod to be able to re-enchant another fishing rod 
before this one breaks card and then it's kind of like the only thing I'm wasting is lapis which it's not wasted because we're getting cod it's another variant in my minecraft diet it's been a lot of bread at the moment a bit backed up fish is good for you so we're going to keep going with that cod unless you deep fry it and have it with chips in which case it's not going to be that great but it's a british classic i guess cod so i'm getting a lot of fish at the moment which is fine do you guys know if there's a particular place you should fish bottle so it's a water bottle with no effects so i'm guessing you can use that to put something in don't know have to figure that out um yeah i'm wondering if you guys actually know if there's somewhere cod so if there's somewhere better for fishing like further out at sea would i be better building a jetty cod over there off of those rocks in deeper water this doesn't look that deep already at level 29 hoping i can get to 30 cod hopefully i can get to 30 and then like i say the only thing i'm wasting is wood string and lapis and i can get all of those no problem the experience day have to go and mine for that or fight for that and i already had a fight with those three guys meaning anything here is just on top of salmon on top of that really and this rod's almost broken i'm hoping it breaks before night time so i can go back and get another one the puffer fish the puffer fish i read you can't cook them you you can eat them but you're likely to poison yourself cod um, you're likely to poison yourself and that's no good for anyone really but i think i've heard i haven't heard i read that you can sell them for emerald off of like villagers or traveling villagers traveling salesmen i guess are not villagers if they're traveling cod cod count 31 salmon's only nine salmon's more expensive so i guess cod is more common salmon oh look i see i changed position i get salmon now halfway to level 30 fishing rod isn't broken yet cod spoke too soon I think this is going to be the last time I throw the rod out before it breaks, I think. I don't know. Possibly. Maybe not. There it goes. Okay, so we got 36 cod. Let's go back. And it all broke just before nightfall. So that's great. Do you know what? I'm not actually fussed that the shaders aren't on now. I might leave those off. Okay, so from this fishing adventure, we have 11 salmon two snails, two lily pads, three name tags, a pair of old leather boots, rotten flesh, four puffer fish, a book for enchanted book for smite, four, a bone, an empty water bottle, and 36 raw cod, and a saddle. So I, I don't think that's too bad going. Okay, so we are back fishing again. This time we have a fishing rod with Luck of the Sea 3 and Unbreaking 3. So I think this one, it may not have the lure on it, um, but it's got the luck. It won't break as quick. We should get more experience. So this rod is actually not too bad at all. And I got a level and I got a cod. So guys, if you're really interested in watching somebody fish for, I'm guessing this has been half an hour so far of actual time, um, if you wanted the full unedited video actually posted, just let me know and you can sit there and watch somebody fish in Minecraft for what I'm guessing is probably going to be a couple of hours. Okay, something interesting and different. I got a bow with infinity. Don't know what infinity is. I'll look that up. Another fishing rod with lure three, which is great. I could even use that one so I can save some time running back. I looked up infinity. Um, maximum level is one. It's incompatible with mending, which I'm guessing just fixes stuff. Infinity is an enchantment to bows that prevents regular arrows from being consumed when shot. One arrow is needed to start. It sounds like a cheap way to fire arrows at people. Although that bow is quite damaged, so I wouldn't really put much luck in, uh, hope in that one. This is what rain looks like in regular Minecraft. And this is what rain looks like in the shaders. I think I prefer regular Minecraft because I can't see anything with that. I may just stick to regular Minecraft now. But 
I understand this is like a series. So if anyone does have a problem with me switching back to regular Minecraft instead of the shaders, let me know. Okay, so there's a thunderstorm. Every time I try and go to bed during the day, it says you can't sleep during the day or thunderstorms or when there's enemies nearby, something like that. Is there a reason you can't sleep during a thunderstorm? Is it just because you won't be able to sleep during a thunderstorm? I've never seen a thunderstorm in Minecraft, to be honest. The bolts of lightning did come down in front of me. I'm guessing you could get hit by lightning, which is now worrying me that I'm fishing with a fishing rod in a lightning storm. Also, we caught a tripwire hook. Oh, we got a book as well. Um, looting 2. So I'm going to carry on fishing, and then I'll be back with some information on looting 2. Okay, so maximum level of looting is 3. Um, primary weapons you can put it on a sword. It's an enchantment for swords. There you go. Um, that can cause mobs to drop more items. But it doesn't affect experience. So good to know. I wonder if I could put that on my sword with the enchantments that I already have on there. I know there's like some incompat incompatibility things, but it would be interesting if I could get more items. And we got another bow. And that bow has power three and punch one. So I'm guessing one is knocked back. I'm guessing the punch is knocked back and the power is how much damage it does. But I will have a look. Okay, so power is a um, enchantment which increases arrow damage. So that's power. And punch is an enchantment for a bow that increases the arrow's knockback. The unbreaking on this fishing rod does show just how much of a difference it makes. The other one broke quite quickly. It's now almost an hour in. We have 43 cod and 18 salmon, if anyone was keeping score. Um, but this fishing rod is like halfway done and it's still got so much use to go. This fishing rod could last a while. There is one other fishing thing that I'm looking to try now. Um, so where my house castle base thing is, um, I'm thinking there's like a little the balcony thing on the front. Um, if I take out the glass from the front, put some doors there, it opens out onto like a lake. Would the fishing rod be able to reach that lake? Um, so could I effectively sit on the balcony? Could I stand on the balcony and just cast from that balcony into the lake? Um, be interesting to see if you could do that. Another thought that has just come into my head is, okay, so when something gets caught on the line, if you just leave it there, will it disappear? And it did. Question answered. Okay, so now it is officially one hour recording time. And the score on the fish are 48 cod and 21 salmon. Plus the ones I caught earlier. But we're not counting those ones on this fishing rod. We also just got another bow with unbreaking 3 and power 2. Though all of these bows are pretty banged up. I think with the anvil you can repair stuff. I will look at that and get back to you. Okay, so an anvil is a block that allows players to repair items, rename items and combine enchantments. With the anvil, you can repair items by uh, combining two similar items with the anvil. However, the target retains its enchantment and may gain new ones from the sacrificed item. However, you can use materials originally required in the crafting of the item like iron ingots with durability, diamonds with diamond items with durability to repair a single item. One material can repair 25% of the maximum durability however this is a significantly less economical option as the cost of combined materials could be put towards a new tool altogether. Oh and one thing I haven't noticed is while I was talking to you guys about anvils and how to repair and things like that, I also got a book with Sharpness 4. So I will also look that up now. I'm guessing Sharpness is more of a um, sword thing. Sharp. It's either sword or arrow. Oh, so primary items are sword or axe. Sharpness is an enchantment applied to sword or axe that increases a melee damage. 
Okay, so fishing away and this drowned decided to come up. But um, a couple of swipes and he was gone. So smite is definitely working. Back to fishing. One thing I was wondering is you have like an offhand here. Could you fish with two lines? How would you make that one go? Could you could you do it? I wonder if Q? No, no, no. Oh no 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 no. That was that was a stupid idea. Where did it go? <laughs> I'm guessing it's on the surface somewhere. No. I just wanted to cast it there it is. I just simply wanted to cast with two lines. I wonder if it's possible. Better look this up before I throw another fishing rod away. Okay, it doesn't look like you can throw both of them out, but apparently it does have some benefit, so I'm gonna try this. Okay, so one hour, 37 minutes into fishing. The cod are definitely winning, with 64 in that pile and eight in that pile, and 39 in that pile of salmon. We've also got some tropical fish. Um, I don't know what we can do with those. Okay, so I'm gonna move some fishing rods around. I'm gonna put this one in my main hand and the unbreakable one with um, the luck of the sea in the other and see how this works out. So I got a puff of fish off that one, puff of fish again and a salmon and it broke. So now I'm gonna try with the one with lure three Got to say though, the one with the unbreakable three on it is taking a very, very long time to just break. What the hell? Okay, that, that, no, it's not good. Um, I don't know what those things are. I'm guessing they don't like me staying up at night. I have never seen these things before. I think they may have disap... No. Nope. I'm not giving in. I'm going to fight these guys. What the hell are they? They are really cool looking though. Also one died. They are so scary looking too. Don't think they dropped anything. I have no idea what they were. Scary is what they were, but I'm fine. I'll eat some bread. Oh, again? No, I'm not losing this fish for you. There we go, right. What are these things? Apart from going to be beaten by my sword. Come on, come at me, let's have it. Didn't know fishing could be this much fun. Scary fun. Okay, everyone, it is officially two hours of recording time. I've cast the line out for this one last go. I want some health left on this fishing rod so I can go back to the house and take out a bit of the balcony and see if I can actually cast into that lake just to see if that's a good fishing point there. After I catch this one last fish here, hopefully I get to level 35. There we go, it wasn't a fish, but it was a shell. So after two hours, half an hour on the first rod, 
but an hour and a half on this rod, which is still going. We have three tropical fish, a bow with infinity, 28 plus 64 card, five lily pads, 23 puffer fish, two trip wire hooks, one enchanted book with looting two, two saddles, a bow with power three and punch one, a bow with unbreaking power three, an enchantment book with sharpness four, shell, leather, string, and a name tag. And obviously 48 salmon. So cod is definitely the issue of the day. And I got another pair of leather boots, which is great, I guess. So I'm now going to leave the fishing jetty. And I don't know what those flying things were that were attacking me. They, they looked really cool, but also very scary until I realized that they weren't that scary. But if you're out and about and you see those things flying at you, I think it would be a scary moment. No. Don't cook up the shells. Tropical fish. Do you cook tropical fish? No. Okay. So I'm going to cook some cod. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see if we can do it. I think we should be able to do this. Let's cast. Perfect. So we can just come out on the balcony and do some fishing. Oh, here we go. So balcony fishing is definitely a thing. I don't even have to leave the house. Balcony fishing is a thing. So I'm going to repurpose this part of the house just to be a fishing platform. And that's amazing. On the last cast, we got a fishing rod with unbreaking three and mending. But I think the unbreaking three is probably redundant if it's got mending on it, because when you cast, I'm assuming it's going to mend itself. So I'm going to not the last cast. This is the last cast. See if we catch anything and if it mends itself. Here comes something. And it did mend itself a bit. Let's just do one more cast. Mend it a little bit more. And if you could get, like, luck of the sea and mending on this one fishing rod, then I think that would be great. You'd only ever need one fishing rod for life. So I've got my new fishing area up here, if I ever need to fish again. We have lots of fish cooking. We have got lots of items interesting. I think it's been a good fishing day, and I've learned a lot from fishing, and it's been fun kinda has been a lot of just staring at water but i got lots of food from it lots of food lots of items definitely will be fishing again at some point not in the near future i think i need to do a bit more adventuring wandering off seeing what's out there please do let me know what you think of just playing minecraft in this view how it was intended um, instead of shaders so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and if you did like it leave a like let me know what you think of the shaders let me know what you think of the fishing if there's anything you learned your fishing adventures what did you catch did you catch any books that were better than mine i'm guessing you have let me know if there's anything that you want to see me do that you think might be great to see from my perspective i hope you liked the video guys bye